There's a lot of professionals in our industry. People know the brand names, but there's also a group of hunters out there that their names may not be as well known as some of the others. And I'll put Joel Snow in that class. He is a master guide. He has his own outfitting business called Hunt Masters Lodge. Nice. He's an accomplished whitetail hunter with multiple 200s that he's killed. Look at the mass. And he lives in Ohio, which to me is one of the best big buck states that you can hunt in. These two here on the left are a couple 200 inches that clients killed. And then the two on the end are ones that I killed, big tall brow tine buck. And then the one on the bottom, it's got like almost 30 inch main beams. But Joel doesn't just hunt Ohio. Once you start getting into central Kansas, it's not a whole lot of timber, but this major food source was this winter wheat field, which was about the only green thing in the area. right here to the east of me. All the bucks seem to pour out of this inside corner into the winter wheat field. So we're getting ready to brush us in a blind. And um, so we're getting ready to go to town, get this done. From the tree stand right behind that blown down barn, Tracy saw a deer in the field that he said was heavy and was bigger than the nine with the broken brow. But he felt that deer was broken also. And really, as heavy as he is and as short as his forehead gets on the one side, I think you would, from a distance, it looks like he could be broken with the pictures that we took of him off the camera. So I think it's gonna happen tonight. I hope we're, our days are on the countdown. We were running out of light that evening and the field was full of deer and all the bucks we had seen were out there and and here he come, the last deer to enter the field that evening. There's one more back there ready to jump the fence. About at that pine tree where they all jumped. It's a buck. It's a shooter too. I'm not sure, but I think it's a broken brow. Our, our broken brow deer from the first night. I'm sure it's him. He's taking the same path. He's walking out there where all the others did. He's 60 right now. Come on, keep coming. Hey, Tracy and I, we have hunted hard since last Saturday. The weather has been terrible. We saw this deer. We were in a set that someone else had hung didn't have any good shooting lanes. Whew. He walked out, Tracy said, there's our man. Well, I looked at a viewfinder and it looked good and I hope it's still okay. And he's dead right out there in the field. I'm pumped. I see a little dark blob up there. And I see a rib cage sticking up. Oh my gosh. We have had so many, would you look at this? He is heavy. I tell you what, and we just shot another one with their Matthews, man. You know, everyone back at home, we were gonna hit the road because uh, I had lots of work to do. Everybody's nice enough to help out and, and cover for me and make it so I can just have that extra day. And that extra day was all it took.